power plants and industries have to reduce their CO2 emissions. Increasingly, strict emission requirements will lead to a global demand for carbon capture and storage. Considering the potentially vast market size, it offers a great opportunity for investments today. ECN develops and commercializes advanced knowledge and technology for a sustainable energy system. In the field of CO2 capture, the research center is a major player. ECN built a test rig demonstrating a unique technology that captures CO2 in a more efficient and cost-effective way than existing processes. Sorption Enhanced Water Gas Shift, or CWAGS for short, is a process that converts CO and separates CO2 from a synthesis gas. The resulting hydrogen is directly used for power production in a gas turbine. The captured CO2 is transported to an underground storage facility. CWAGS is unique because the hydrogen is produced at approximately 400 degrees centigrade and elevated pressure. The energy efficiency is therefore much higher and the CO2 emissions are reduced by 95%. CWAGS consists of a series of reactors filled with solid material which can absorb CO2. Five reactors are needed that each undergo the same seven cyclic steps. In the first step of the cycle, the syngas passes through a reactor while the sorbent material takes up the CO2. The CO and the steam react, producing CO2 and hydrogen. The sorbents also take up the newly produced CO2. In this way, all the CO and CO2 is separated and only hydrogen gas remains. Once the sorbent is saturated, another reactor takes over and step two starts, the rinse. Steam enters the reactor from the top and pushes the syngas out of the voids and into the next reactor. Once the steam reaches the bottom of the reactor, the reactor proceeds to step 3, pressure equalization. In this step, part of the steam flows into an atmospheric reactor until the pressures in both reactors are equal. Step 4 is the blowdown, when the pressure is rapidly decreased to 1 bar. Some of the CO2 is released from the sorbent material and exits the reactor together with the steam. In step 5, additional CO2 is released by purging the reactor with steam. In step 6, the reactor pressure is increased again by taking in gas from the reactor undergoing depressurization in step 3. In the final step, the reactor is repressurized in preparation of switching to step one. Five reactors are required to produce a continuous stream of hydrogen, though an optimized plant will consist of even more reactors. CWAGS is a technology that captures a higher percentage of CO2 and consumes less energy. ECN now wishes to commercialize CWAGS and the next step is to build a pilot unit to demonstrate the technology. We have to reduce our CO2 emissions drastically. Investing in CWAG's technology today offers major commercial opportunities in the future. ECM wants to take on this challenge together with you.